the, the scale of, of, of Optimus, like I said, that's really going to be something else. Um, I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. So, like, bigger than cell phones. Honestly, whenever Elon Musk reveals a new generation of Tesla robots, it sparks a public frenzy, because before they actually appear, very few people believe that a humanoid robot capable of human-like manipulation could become a reality. But now, the Tesla Optimus has fully confirmed that this is indeed true. Elon Musk unveiled a series of updates and plans for the Tesla bot at Tesla's 2025 annual shareholder meeting. Tesla has begun construction on a brand new standalone factory next to Giga Texas. This is the Optimus production facility with a capacity of 10 million units per year, expected to break ground in 2027 this marking a major leap forward that Tesla has long pursued. What will the final price be, and who can own it? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It would be a huge motivation for us to keep bringing you amazing episodes about Tesla humanoid robots and all the latest AI and EV innovations from Elon Musk. Currently, in its Optimus 2.5 iteration, Tesla's humanoid robot can already walk autonomously, navigate complex office environments, recharge itself, and perform basic repetitive tasks such as item sorting or object transport. However, Elon Musk has emphasized that the upcoming Optimus Gen 3, scheduled for release in the first quarter of 2026, that will represent a radical transformation. Tesla plans to refresh the robot annually, mirroring the update cycle of smartphones. Optimus 4 is projected for 2027, and Optimus 5 in 2028. Each new version will introduce exponential performance gains, improved dexterity, energy efficiency, and AI adaptability, as Tesla targets a new generation every year to accelerate mass adoption and reduce unit costs. What stunned the global tech community was Musk's cost projection. When Tesla reaches annual production of 1 million units, the manufacturing cost per robot could drop to just $20,000, roughly one-tenth the price of Boston Dynamics' Atlas prototype. To put this in perspective, that's cheaper than an entry-level electric car. At such a price point, Optimus could become a mainstream household assistant, performing roles in manufacturing, logistics, healthcare, education, and elder care. According to a 2024 McKinsey report, global demand for service robots could surpass $150 billion by 2030, a market Tesla is clearly positioning to dominate. Musk went even further, revealing Tesla's ambition to achieve the fastest production ramp-up in industrial history, starting with 1 million robots per year in Fremont, scaling to 10 million, 100 million, and ultimately 1 billion robots annually, even on Mars. Though that sounds fantastical, Musk insists it's technically feasible given Tesla's vertically integrated production model and AI-driven manufacturing. To support this scale, Musk acknowledged a major bottleneck, chip supply. We'll probably have to build a giant chip factory. This is something we have to do, he said. With both Optimus and Tesla's self-driving cars requiring tens of millions of AI chips annually, internal chip production would mark Tesla's entry into the semiconductor and AI infrastructure race competing directly with NVIDIA and TSMC. Ultimately, Musk envisions AI and robotics expanding the global economy by 10 to 100 times, transforming labor productivity and reshaping every sector. Yet, he also cautioned about the ethical, privacy, and employment implications of large-scale automation. How does Optimus Gen 3 outperform its predecessor? Simply put, the Gen 3 hand operates on a completely different mechanical and sensor system compared to Gen 2. While Gen 2 could grasp and move simple objects, the Gen 3 hand features multi-joint control with haptic feedback, allowing each finger to coordinate intricately, convey more sensory information, and perform tasks with millimeter-level precision. In terms of precision, Gen 3 prototypes have demonstrated the ability to achieve superhuman-level manipulation, performing repetitive tasks continuously without fatigue, maintaining perfect timing, and executing complex actions like medical procedures or sophisticated manufacturing. This means Generation 3 has the potential to carry out complex tasks that Generation 2 could not, enhancing efficiency and practical usefulness in real life. And guess what? This capability opens the door for the Tesla bot to truly participate in the economy, from factories to hospitals, without the need for constant human supervision. Although we'll have to wait for Tesla to officially release Gen 3 to see the full specifications, current leaks indicate that the robot will achieve manipulation precision at least on par with humans, but with significantly higher reliability and speed. What's particularly impressive is that the Gen 3 hand mechanism combines high precision with energy efficiency, allowing the robot to operate longer without frequent maintenance. Of course, there will be different versions. 
The advanced version is expected to offer extremely sophisticated manipulation with a slightly higher price, aimed at customers or businesses that prioritize maximum precision. As mentioned, the Gen 3 hand truly represents a bigger leap than any previous technology, a massive competitive advantage that helps Tesla lead the humanoid race. In fact, each Gen 3 hand can perform thousands of different actions without programming each individual movement, saving significant time and cost. It may sound complex, but on a mass production scale, this efficiency could completely change how robots are deployed in daily life and manufacturing, ushering in an era of truly versatile robots. Moreover, the hand mechanism and mechanical materials of the TeslaBot Gen 3 are extremely durable and environmentally friendly. Recycled materials make up a high proportion of the joints and robot casing, consuming only about 5% of the energy compared to using virgin materials, significantly reducing the carbon footprint and environmental cost of large-scale robot production. The force sensors and control mechanisms of Gen 3 use chemically inert and high heat-resistant designs, up to 200 degrees Celsius. This eliminates the risk of overheating or failure from continuous operation, a problem previous generations of robots still faced. Tests in Tesla laboratories have shown that the Gen 3 hand can withstand extreme conditions such as impacts, compression, and strong vibrations without losing precision or generating excessive heat. With an operating temperature range from 5 to 85 degrees Celsius, Gen 3 can work efficiently in almost any environment, from cold factories in northern Europe to hot and humid warehouses in China. This level of stability and safety not only protects the robot, but also helps reduce maintenance costs and operational risks, making Gen 3 an ideal choice for businesses looking to deploy versatile robots. One of the biggest barriers for humanoid robots today is manipulation speed and quick recovery when performing multiple tasks. The new hand mechanism and controller of Gen 3 represent a major leap forward, with extremely fast feedback and movement in a short time, allowing the robot to complete a series of complex tasks without interruption. Of course, these figures are based on prototype-level testing, but they demonstrate Gen 3's true potential for continuous operation. With the improved controller, the actual manipulation speed can reach an optimal level for completing tasks in homes, manufacturing, or healthcare, performing repetitive actions in just a few seconds. While it hasn't achieved the absolute super speed of theoretical limits, Gen 3 can still operate much faster and more accurately than its predecessors. In our view, this fast and safe manipulation capability could remove one of the biggest psychological barriers to robot deployment, concerns about reliability and efficiency in real-world environments. One of the major concerns for businesses and users when considering humanoid robots is maintenance cost and lifespan. For typical robots, these costs can make up a significant portion of total ownership, causing customers to worry about long-term expenses. We're not saying you won't have to consider maintenance at all with Gen 3. However, based on testing data, one of Gen 3's biggest advantages is its superior mechanical longevity and durability. We all know that the hand is the ultimate limit for a robot to truly replace human labor. Elon understands that many companies can make robots that walk, turn, see, and hear. But a robot hand with 22 degrees of freedom, capable of haptic feedback, millimeter-level precision, and sophisticated coordination without programming every single motion, is the biggest barrier that keeps industrial robots limited to repetitive tasks. That is the mission of the Tesla Bot Gen 3, with its 22 degree of freedom hand, poised to bring a real breakthrough in humanoid robotics. This design comes with an emphasis that the Optimus Gen 3 will not just move objects, but manipulate them with human level or even superior precision. This is the key to enabling it to provide healthcare for humans, operate professionally as a true homemaker, and in flexible manufacturing. It can grasp anything and work adaptively without the need for specialized production lines like traditional fixed industrial robots. According to analysts, Tesla is taking the human-level dexterity-first approach to establish a unique monopoly in the market. While other robotics companies typically focus on locomotion, computer vision, balance, and power systems, Musk prioritizes sophisticated multitask manipulation. This shows that the Optimus Gen 3 is designed to participate in the economy as a human replacement not just a customizable machine. The large-scale productivity that Musk refers to doesn't come from a team of walking robots, but from robots with flexible hands capable of performing any task that humans do with their hands. This is the most powerful economic leverage. That's why Musk said V3 is another level beyond this. He implied that Optimus Gen 2 had achieved functional human-like dexterity, but V3 aims for superhuman precision and reliability. With hands more accurate than a human's, the robot can perform medical procedures with machine-level precision, operate 24-7 without fatigue, work in hazardous environments, 
and maintain steadiness and timing without error. The leap from V2 to V3 marks the transition from a useful robot to a superior economic robot. Therefore, robot generations that still rely on limited manipulation capabilities seem insufficient for the Tesla bot to truly become an economic machine in human life. The best solution may be to upgrade the hands and manipulation abilities while using cheaper sensors and mechanical components that deliver superior performance. And Tesla appears to be taking this approach with Gen 3. But what exactly does this super precise manipulation entail? And why is it so important for a truly useful robot? Explaining the robot's manipulation mechanism in detail can be complex, especially since most of us aren't robotics engineers. At a basic level, you can think of Gen 3 as being able to grasp, rotate, and coordinate objects like a human, and that's true. But this simple explanation doesn't fully convey why Genesis 3's hand represents such a leap forward, and that's the key point. Finally, if you have any questions about what Tesla Optimus's hand can handle, leave a comment below, and we'll clear it in next episodes. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.